Promotion is an evolving technology company with a core competency in mobile payment and recharge platform solutions in China. As the user base of its primary business continues to grow, the company is developing additional value-added technologies to market to its users. And with me is the CEO, Martin Shen, to uh, elaborate on this a little more. So great to have you here. And, and tell me the, the mission, the mission of Finger Motion. Sure. Uh, first of all, thanks, Jane, for having having us on. Really, really appreciate. Um, yeah, Finger Motion. Really, we're trying to move forward with a lot of uh, innovative tech uh, and providing what we would consider behavioral insights, uh, understanding really human nature and human behavior uh, to help augment different things, be it in you know, financial services. And right now, we're looking into uh, insure tech and the insurance industry to see if we can help uh, augment the insurance industry and their portfolio to help you know provide better coverage or more a better value for for the customers that they have interesting so you're gathering information data patterns I guess yeah. on people and their mobile devices and then um, that can be used to market or maybe predictive behavior like what what kind of things give me an example what kind of things yeah. do you that's exactly right. That's exactly what we're trying to do. We we kind of originated from being a payment processor. So we obviously have very close ties with China Mobile and China Unicom, which are, in essence, the two largest mobile phone providers in China. And from that, we were able to get the license to go in and study user data. Uh, a couple of things. We don't own the data. The telcos continue to retain ownership of the data. So it's not something that we could sell. And the data that we get access to has already been scrubbed for anonymity. So we can't you know get personal information and all that what we do get are certain identifiers and then certain demographic information and to your point that it's that demographic information that we use to help build out uh, understanding behavioral um, instincts and nature and and movement uh, we get geolocation on on these uh, devices so we understand where people go and the idea of, of what we're trying to do is typically when you sign up for an insurance coverage you get maybe medical records but you don't really understand what that person or that demographic person might be doing. And we put that into uh, the insurance information. They go, oh, okay, well, maybe that person actually does go to the gym five times a week because we know where they're accessing uh, their, their movements and all that sort of stuff. And that helps maybe reduce their premiums. And we see it as kind of a, a three-way win. The insurance companies get much cleaner portfolios. The consumer, of course, plays much lower premiums. And for us, we're just you know part of the partnership that works together. If you bring on, on board some new customers, you know, let's share in, in the success of, of that for the insurance company. Okay. I mean, very interesting. I mean, it gives you this data that just makes, I guess, everything run more efficiently, much more exactly. accurately. Um, as you mentioned, you know, if somebody's really going to the gym or not. So, you know, exactly. it yeah. gets much more. Who, who are your clients? Um, so right now we work with a company called Munich Re. Obviously, one of the largest reinsurance companies in the world. We've uh, worked historically with Pacific Life Re as well. And so the idea is that they are obviously the overseers of the insurance companies themselves. And they work really hard and they work in conjunction with our uh, data analysts to find the best products. And, you know, these are very, very large companies, so they move very slowly and they want to make 100% sure that the data that they're accessing and the info that they're, they're getting is 100% active and will work with the products that they want to push out. And okay. so those are the ones that we, we work with now. Well, that's a very good question. I mean, getting the data is one thing, but then making sure it's actually providing value is, is another thing. So, and are you finding that's the case? Yeah, I mean, so one of the beauties of all this is that the those reinsurance companies that I mentioned are the ones that are actually funding the research labs. So they're the ones that are saying, okay, we got our actuaries on this side, you got your data scientists on this side, come together the information, and then they come back and say, you know what, can you get access to this information? And then so our data scientists go back, dig through some more of it, and funnel some some new information out and see if that's going to be uh, something that's going to end up to be a monetizable product at the end of the day. Now, you just did a, a strategic direct offering and a warrant package. Explain like from the business side how that positions you for the future. Yeah, that was a, a, a good timing of capital injection for us. Uh, obviously, with our close ties with these um, mobile phone companies, we also get access to some of the government work that we're doing. And we have uh, an emergency response program, again, building on the data platform, the, the access of uh, data information that we 
and we can get access to and how we're very good as a company to uh, aggregate that information and push it back out. They also had something called an emergency response program that they're kind of just initiating now throughout the country. And that capital injection not only helps fund our fundamental uh, businesses, but also helps to fund this new project that we're, we're working on right now. Okay. And then finally, what are the catalysts moving forward? Well, obviously, the the success of uh, what we have with this big data side with the insurance company, that thing's been going on for a couple of years now. And I know our team works very, very hard. And uh, I talk to shareholders, investors, uh, and I'm just as impatient as they are to have that as a monetizable product down the road. So we're waiting for that to happen. And alongside with that is new emergency response program. We've also initiated a new app that we have on, on people's phones. Um, to help them find maybe charging stations. But what we're gonna to try to do is build in some of this other stuff, the insurance stuff and this emergency response program in the app as well. So those are some of the things that we we find very exciting for, for 2025 and, and going forward. Okay, Martin, very interesting. Thank you for coming and, and sharing finger motion with us. Thank you so much, Jane, anytime. Thank you.